Only on NBC5 News, under fire, it's been a tumultuous time in Oregon politics with public officials arrested, resigning, and under investigation. But is Oregon the only place where this is happening? And is it happening more often? Tonight, we begin an in-depth investigation of the recent allegations and what it means for you. Over the last 12 months, some Oregon political leaders and public officials have found themselves in hot water. In February of last year, Governor John Kitzhaber resigns amid allegations of influence peddling. He thought he could get away with more than he can get away with. Three months later, Oregon's top federal prosecutor steps down following claims of an inappropriate relationship between her and a subordinate. There's no criminal activity. In October, Jackson County files an ethics complaint against Commissioner Doug Bridenthal, asking the State Ethics Commission to look into possible ethics law violations and misuse of public funds an investigation that is still ongoing today. In December, Josephine County Commissioner Simon Hare is arrested for DUII and pleads no contest. Now he tells NBC5 News he won't seek re-election. I won't be here for, for much longer. And just weeks later, Jackson County Community Justice Director Shane Hagee is arrested for possession of meth and resisting arrest, charges he has pleaded not guilty to. Political science instructor Michael Torgerson and Southern Oregon University professor Prakash Chinjiri say Oregon isn't unique. It happens all across the globe. There are scandals in Texas, in California, up in, you know, Pig's Knuckle, Arkansas. They're all over the place. Just last week, former New York Governor Elliot Spitzer was accused of choking a woman at a hotel. The politician resigned in 2008 after being accused of soliciting prostitutes. In Michigan, Representative Todd Corser resigned and Representative Cindy Gamrat was ousted following a sex scandal between the pair. And in Virginia, Delegate Joseph Morsi serves jail time for an inappropriate relationship with a teen staffer who later gave birth to his son. Torgerson says times have changed. There are things that people could get away with in the 80s that would get them hung out to dry today. With the 24-hour news cycle, the internet, and the creation of smartphones. Every person is a reporter. Every phone is a camera, so the unblinking eye of the media is ever-present. And Torgerson says that microscope is widening. Coming up tomorrow night, we'll delve deeper into the history of controversy in Oregon politics and examine the public's perception of political failures and why we as humans can't seem to get enough of them. And there's actually some science to it. Really? Yes, so you'll have I, to tune in tomorrow. I thought it was just me. That's fascinating. I'm I glad know. to know I'm not alone. Yeah, there's... There's real science. A lot happening there. I look forward to hearing about it. Absolutely. Well, tonight in the Whip Around, a Facebook workout video is going viral. Okay. What the woman behind the post is using as motivation to get some exercise, <laughs> I bet you can guess. Plus, Adam Kolpak's up next with your complete weather forecast. Stay with us.